Kingspace is an all-in-one IoT platform that allows you to leverage development tools and services, get connected, manage your devices, and discover new solutions all within a single pane of glass. The Thingspace Manage platform offers the following key functionality, device connectivity, advanced services, and the ability to purchase SIM cards in the IoT marketplace. Now, let's take a walk through the Thingspace Manage portal. The landing page will provide you with an insight into your IoT ecosystem. At the top of the page, you will be provided with information such as the total number of devices on your profile, those that are active, and those that are deactive, as well as those that are suspended, pending, and so on. There are several widgets providing you with such information as device status, recent alerts, recent transactions, and average provisioning time. You will also have the ability to check for 5G business internet at your location. Just enter or upload your business address, then click Submit. We can see that the business address I just entered is available for 5G business internet. Now, let's take a look at the Devices page. Click on the Devices link in the navigation bar at the top left. The ThingSpace Manage Devices page gives you one place where you can manage all of your devices, provisioning, and services needs. Using the search field at the top of the Devices page, you can search by IMEI, ICC ID, MDN, or IP address. Wildcard support allows you to search for devices by adding the percent sign at the end of the string. You can also use the bulk search option to search for up to 500 devices at a single time. At the top right of the devices page, click on the filter icon. Here you can filter for and perform advanced searches for your devices. You will find different categories of filters separated by tabs on the left side. The Devices page layout can be configured by selecting and or editing the Table View. On the top right of the page, click on the Table View selection window. Then, from the drop-down list, select the Table View that best suits your needs. You can also create your own. You can activate up to 10,000 devices at one time with only two clicks. At the top right of the page, click on the Actions icon and select Activate. Select your activation type at the top. The default option will be Device and SIM. You can also activate with SIM only using a SKU. First, enter the SKU number in the Additional Options window. Then, enter up to 10,000 SIM IDs, one line per ID. Going back to the Device and SIM activation type, you will have several additional options. 5G Business Internet. You can enter an IP address if you have a private network. And you have the option to upload a device to the Verizon Device Management Database. Let's enter an IMEI and ICC ID separated by a comma in the field below. Alternatively, you can upload a CSV file with a list containing 10,000 devices. If you click on the Create and Download link, you will be prompted with the fields that you can choose to create your own dynamic template. Use this template to upload devices with pre-assigned values for each field. Then click Next. ThinkSpace will tell us if the device is eligible or ineligible. If it were ineligible, you can click on the View Device link at the top right to get more information. Select your account number and assignment zip code. Under the Billing Account drop-down, click on Add More Information. Here, you can add additional attributes and even save a location. Please note, ThingSpace provides you with five custom fields that you can use at your will. Then, select your service plan. If you have a private network, your IP pool groups will be displayed at the bottom. Devices will be assigned IP addresses from within the selected pool group. And finally, click on Activate Devices. The Logs page will show all of the provisioning transactions that was submitted in ThingSpace. Click on the Request ID to go to the Logs Details page. 
Here, you will be able to see more information on your single or bulk transaction. If the status of your transaction is a failure, you will be able to see more information in the description. You can also click on the device ID to go to the device details page. Head over to the reports page to run reports of different types on devices for a specified period of time. Some of the more popular reports are aggregated data usage, session and connection history. Select the type of report that you would like to run. Enter a device ID. Please note, you can also select a device from the devices page, then at the top right, click on the reports icon. Then select a start and end date and click run. ThinkSpace provides you with both SMS and data usage. To access advanced reporting options, click on the Create and Schedule Advanced Reports icon at the top right of the page. This will bring up the Create and Schedule Report window where you can create and schedule reports. In ThinkSpace, you can set up rules that trigger alerts. From the Devices page, click on Rules in the navigation bar to the left. This page will populate all rules that have been created under the ThingSpace profile. To create a new rule, click on the scroll icon at the top right. On the rules page, you will be provided with three rule type options, network, usage, and transaction. Today, we will focus on usage. Select the usage rule type. Next, choose an account. You have the option of selecting all devices or a device group. In the trigger section, you have two options for condition, individual or combined device usage. You can then select a severity level. This is only a visual tag for the trigger. Now select the amount for the usage trigger. In the action section, you can choose to have no action or suspend a device or devices. In the notification section, you can choose a predefined user group or enter an email address. You can also set up reminders. If you set the frequency to zero, you will only get the initial notification. Then enter a rule name. You can choose to enable the rule or disable it. When you are done, click Save. Back on the rules page, you can search for your new rule at the top. If you would like to make any changes, locate your rule and click on the edit icon to the right. When a rule has been triggered, you will not only get an email notification, but also an alert in the ThingSpace Managed Portal. Click on Alerts in the navigation bar to the left. Here you will see all alerts that were triggered under your condition.